Hello guys, welcome back to another video of GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repairs here. Uh, back to the two, with the 2001 Nissan Pathfinder. <clears throat> uh, gonna show you how to replace the front struts. Okay, the procedure is pretty straightforward. Nothing to worry about. If you have some basic tools and you follow along, you should be able to do it with no issues. All right, first the ball to start on the driver's side. The driver's side, obviously, we're gonna have the brake booster, the master cylinder, and here we're gonna have a bracket on top of the, the strut mount, okay? So to remove that, we need to remove this to gain, gain access to two out of the three bolt or nuts on the strut mount, okay? So one is right here directly underneath, you can see it the other one is totally covered by it so no big deal <clears throat> so what we're gonna need is gonna need a, a 10 millimeter wrench 10 millimeter socket extension a ratchet whatever you happen to have because there are three three bolts <laughs> that you need to remove so one two over there right here and three is right between you got to follow this bracket underneath so you can actually do that coming around with the wrench and just remove that one okay very straightforward don't let that get you intimidated or the other one you have to remove the whole intake breather tube that is between the air filter housing and the throttle body right here but sometimes these vehicles Obviously, 2001 is 21 years old right now, so this part can be very brittle. It can break, and you need to end up replacing it. And if you yours is okay, you want to prevent that from happening, just go here underneath, reach, and you should be good to go. Can okay, save you a little bit of time. So, anyhow, so we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket extension. We can uh, get to it. 10 millimeter extension. Okay, so we're gonna go here. and the other one before I start to from uh, film and I rather replace this and I decide remove it and I decide to make the video now that's it you can see now we can slide this to the side now we have access and the other one is right there so we can definitely gain access by moving it there you go all right so before we get into that right here underneath here's the rest of the strut obviously so we're gonna need there's this light here so far it's, it's a 17 millimeter socket i'm gonna use some pliers to remove this uh, lock or retainer with some pli uh, we can use just the hand here to to remove the speed sensor just be careful here don't break it sometimes this can be also quite brittle and uh, you can end up breaking the cable okay. that's that and lastly it's a 7 8 to 22 millimeter nut this one it is 17 millimeter socket or wrench whatever you happen to have and this should be able to we should be able to remove this fairly quickly again if you have any questions comments concerns please leave it underneath on the section below and i'll be happy to answer it i'm gonna use this seven eighths socket here on a compressor 
use a fucking ratchet to hold it. This uh, <laughs> bolt prevent it from spinning. These two bolts right here should be the same. So I don't need to worry about it. Which one goes where in this vehicle? Pliers to remove. Ah, I hit. Now I'm going to do 17 millimeter to remove this. Nice. This one have a little washer here. It's always a good practice when you guys doing this, removing the struts, as lift the vehicle, both wheels on the front, for instance, because we have a sway bar here. So if you want, you just lift one side, the sway, sway bar gets the load on the other side. Okay, put pressure, and this one is, so this one is hanging so the, the the, the sway bar is doing what it's supposed to is, is twisting so which make this quite difficult to pull out of place sometimes you have to use a, a screwdriver or big breaker bar and take the load out of it so you can remove this so do yourself a favor lift both sides and you don't have to worry about it <clears throat> now here now with this we can actually remove this hose in a minute. Anyhow, so next, what we're gonna do here? I'm gonna put this here, and I'm gonna bring the jack and put it underneath the control. Just to take some of the weight out of it. By the way, when I remove the, uh, the top uh, bolt, it's more likely it's just going to drop. So we don't want to do that. Okay, again. the other one here all the time and I'm gonna lower the floor jack okay so now we have some room here I'm gonna use the, this bottom as I said both of there those bolts are the same I don't need to worry about that so the next thing I'm gonna push and that's the reason we hold it now I can remove that brake line this is out 
<clears throat> okay, great. So now you can see the dust boot is all torn. Oh well. This is the new one, make sure everything is located on the same position. The only thing different so far is this bracket right here for the speed sensor, which I don't think that's gonna make a big deal, but always make it a good practice to compare them. You don't wanna put the wrong shock on the wrong side because the right side is different this one I believe is in a different location anyhow so let's continue one at a time it's nice and shiny so the customer should be nice and pleased for the bolts the nuts So, so I got uh, the, the nuts on top of the uh, on top here, but I can reach them. So we're gonna install this. This gotta be between the two the brake line hose and the speed sensor. That's how we took it apart. Now, here, is best practice. Have somebody else to help you because it's kind of challenging <coughs> to make sure this goes in place but it's not used to hold on play just to hold it there while I put this that's where they are supposed to go That can be a little bit heavy sometimes. Whew. Got it. So last one. So, one, two, and three. Good, we're doing good. Now this part, we're gonna... Um, remove this. I should point this up, right there. There's a line. So I, I, I turn the strut to line up with the spindle. Now we're gonna use, you can use the flow jack or you can just wiggle it. Let me look, place this. So 
one. in again so we are going to put the two nuts and I'm going to put all the torque specs on the description below so you guys can see them put that one that speed sensor that goes there goes there on this one remember I had a washer Remember to reinstall that. That goes here. This is gonna go here, the clip. And here, because this is a little bit different, we're gonna use a zip tie to tie this part of the uh, speed sensor. And that will be pretty much it for this video, guys. So now, you know how to replace the front struts on a Nissan Pathfinder 2001 two wheel drive. So, because I still see a lot of them on the road, I'm gonna just tap them. This one. Working a little bit later. <coughs> I gotta install everything else. That goes on. Cool. And uh, <coughs> that's pretty much it, guys. So like the video, share the video, leave your comments down below, and definitely I will see you in the next video. Again, on the section below, I will post all the torque specs for the top, the bottom, and the wheel. All right, see you in the next video. God bless, later.